la 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 Hello everybody, so today I'm here to tell you how to color particle effects in vanilla. So this is nothing new, this has been around for a very long time, pretty sure since the particle command has been around, and many people have made posts and videos on this, but I have not, and there's a reason why I am making this. So to color particle effects, it's fairly easy, all you have to do is you have to use one of the specific particle effects, which is red dust. Uh, mob spell and I believe mob spell ambient I believe you can color that one as well Those are the only ones that can be colored this way and you change the X Y and Z Coordinates to be RGB a uh, RGB colors. So these are RGB values in a Special way there's a specific formula that you have to use in order to convert RGB values to these color particles and I will show the formula on the screen right now. So as you can see, this is a pretty complicated formula. So to alleviate some of that, I have actually made a generator. And that is the reason why I am making this video, because this generator was actually requested to me by someone that I know. They asked me if I could make a generator for this, and I was like, okay. So I decided to make a command quickies video about it as well. So if we just go on to mc2box.me-particles, as you can see, we just pick a color from here. And let's go ahead and make a nice blue color. Yeah, I like that color. And it will automatically generate the particle effect for you. Now, if we just grab one of these, put this here, and there we go. So I believe this also works with mob spell. Let me see if that is it. Mob spell, right? Yep, there we go. And I believe ambient as well. Yep. And you can color those as well. So if we come into here and let's make a, a purplish color, just grab this and let's put this into here. And as you can see, it is now working. Mob spell and now red dust. And there we go. So that is an easy way to color particle effects. Again, you can use the formula if you want to, though it's pretty complicated uh, if you don't want to sit down and do the math every single time you can just use the generator that i have made here hope you guys enjoyed hope you find this useful and goodbye